animals can sometimes astound us. In this story, a bear carrying a dying baby approaches the road, seemingly seeking help. What follows is unexpected and astonishing. Max had been driving through the night, aiming to surprise his parents by arriving earlier than they anticipated. However, the exhaustion was starting to set in, and he realized he might have made a mistake. In his younger days, Max could stay awake for long stretches during his service years, but now he found himself incredibly fatigued after just one night without sleep. He was nearing the next town and planned to stop for rest and breakfast. A steaming cup of coffee to warm his frozen hands sounded perfect. Although it was spring, an unexpected cold snap made the day feel more like winter. As Max rubbed his tired eyes, he was suddenly faced with an enormous figure in front of him. His pickup truck screeched to a halt, and he couldn't believe what he was seeing. A bear was carrying a small baby in its mouth. Questions raced through Max's mind. Where had the baby come from? Why did the bear have it? Was the child injured? After double-checking his vision and even pinching himself, Max realized he was not dreaming. The bear indeed had a baby, but its eyes were sad and seemed to be pleading for help. Max knew he had little chance against the bear without a weapon, but he felt compelled to save the child. Max approached the bear, unsure of what to expect. To his surprise, the bear was not aggressive. Instead, it gently placed the baby on the ground and retreated to the tree line. It seemed the bear was entrusting Max with the child's care. Max rushed to pick up the baby and was shocked to find the child's clothing soaked in his skin blue. He didn't want to believe the worst but was relieved to see no marks from the bear's massive jaws. The bear had handled the child with remarkable gentleness. Max had to carefully assess the baby's condition. Unsure of what had happened, he retrieved his first aid kit from the car, but the equipment was not designed for an infant. He had to adapt as he went along. Max first checked the child's throat and used a syringe to suction it clear. While tending to the baby, he called emergency services, but the nearest ambulance was far away. For the time being, Max was on his own. He set the phone on the passenger seat and focused on the baby, who was still not breathing properly but had a beating heart. The child seemed to be a newborn, and Max had to be cautious. With his large hands while trying to save the baby's life, he gently rubbed the back of the baby's neck, which didn't yield results, and then tapped on the baby's feet. Finally, the baby gasped for air and began to cry. The bear, standing off to the side, watched anxiously. Max turned back to the bear to show that the baby was now alive and breathing. The child's face was no longer blue. He removed the wet clothing and wrapped the baby in one of his own jerseys as a makeshift blanket, although. The baby was now breathing, Max couldn't be sure about any potential life-threatening injuries, he wished he had better equipment to examine the baby more thoroughly. This unexpected encounter left Max both frustrated and terrified, emotions he wasn't accustomed to feeling as someone who usually feared little. Finally, the ambulance arrived, and Max was relieved to hand over the child. The paramedics inquired about the mother, but Max had no idea where she was. They checked the baby's lungs and concluded that the child likely had pneumonia due to the cold, a serious condition for an infant. They needed to transport the baby to the hospital as quickly as possible. Max also wondered about the whereabouts of the mother. The nearby forest was vast, and finding the location where the bear had discovered the baby would be too much for one person. He decided to report the incident to the sheriff when he passed through the town. The idea of leaving without fully resolving the situation bothered him, there had to be an adult connected to the baby. As Max headed back to his vehicle, the bear made an unusual noise that was a blend of a bark and a growl, seeking Max's attention. Max thought the bear had left after the ambulance departed, but it seemed the animal had stayed nearby and wasn't finished with Max. The sound suggested the bear wanted Max to follow him, despite the craziness of the situation. Max knew he had to follow the bear. Just minutes earlier, Max had been fatigued, but now, Adrenaline was surging through him, keeping him going. Navigating through the dense forest was challenging, but the bear patiently waited for Max to catch up. At times, Max questioned his decision to follow the bear into the unknown, wondering if he was just chasing a wild animal through the woods instead of enjoying a proper breakfast. However, his doubts vanished when he saw something that changed everything ahead of him. In the river, was a car submerged in the water. It appeared to have slid down a steep embankment from the road above, with the front of the car submerged, if the mother was in the front seat, she would have drowned by now. One of the rear tires was shredded, which may have contributed to the car ending up in the river. Max needed to contact emergency services but realized his phone was still in his truck. Left there when he tended to the baby, he had to handle the situation on his own. 
Swimming to the car, he found the back seat was partially flooded, but not as deep. As the front, to his relief, he spotted a woman in the back seat, indicating no one was in the front. The woman had likely climbed to the back to reach her baby and attempt an escape. She had freed the baby from the car seat and opened the window before passing out. The infant's car seat was almost completely submerged, and the child would not have survived if left there. Max realized that the mother had used her last strength to save her child, which allowed the bear to pull the baby out and seek help. He carefully rescued the mother from the car, noticing a significant bump on her head and blood on her stomach, suggesting possible internal bleeding. Max knew he couldn't leave her to find help. He had to take action. Carefully, he carried her back to his vehicle, trying not to jostle her too much to avoid exacerbating potential spinal injuries. Her breathing was extremely shallow, indicating she was in critical condition. Upon reaching his car, Max realized the bear was gone, having left once he ensured the mother was cared for, Max contacted emergency services again, but the town's single ambulance was already occupied, he had to act fast, placing the mother in the back seat of his car and rushing her to the hospital, throughout the drive, it felt as though the mother stopped breathing several times, intensifying Max's resolve to save her, the image of the baby lingered in his mind, he wasn't going to abandon the child without a mother, reaching the hospital and seeing its Red Letters was a moment of immense relief for Max. Max had ever seen a scene quite like this one. The medical team awaited their arrival and immediately whisked the woman into surgery. The baby was sedated and receiving oxygen. His situation remained critical. The sheriff showed up, asking if Max knew who these people were. With the mother and baby in good hands, Max could now assist in retrieving the vehicle from the river. They pulled the car out and discovered the woman's identification, Max then noticed a bear watching them, he grabbed a bag of fruit from his truck and placed it some distance into the forest, hoping the heroic bear would find his reward. The sheriff managed to contact the woman's husband, informing him of the accident. The husband rushed to the hospital to stay with his family. Max's role was complete, but he asked the husband to keep him informed. Then, Max continued on his journey, finally enjoying a meal. Even if it was late in the day, he headed to his parents home, arriving much later than anticipated. The adrenaline had faded, leaving Max utterly drained, his story seemed unbelievable to others, a bear helping him save two lives sounded far-fetched, still, Max couldn't stop thinking about the mother and baby in the days that followed, had their rescue been successful, as each day passed, Max grew anxious, wondering about the outcome, the mother's husband would have called with positive news, but if something went wrong, he might hesitate to relay it. Then, about a week later, Max's phone rang. It was the husband's number on the screen, causing Max's heart to race. He answered, only to hear the voice of the mother on the other end. She was awake and recovering, eager to thank the man who saved them. She shared that she was holding her baby boy, who had been taken off oxygen and could soon wake up. They would remain in the hospital a little longer but would survive without lasting harm. The mother expressed gratitude and was astonished by Max's story of the bear's assistance, she thought. She had imagined it as the bear carried her baby from the car, she had cried out, fearing the worst, but instead, they both owed the bear their lives, things turned out better than anyone could have hoped, and soon, the family returned home. The baby would never remember the accident or his rescuers, but his parents made sure he knew the story. A year later, they invited Max to join them for a picnic in the forest. They sat near the river, replacing the traumatic memories of the previous year. With joyful moments of the present, the baby, now walking, was one of the happiest children Max had ever seen. Watching him play warmed Max's heart, validating all the effort and fear he had endured. Max couldn't believe the tiny, blue baby he had saved from the bear was now chasing butterflies, it was a perfect day made even better when Max spotted something on the hill, a dark shape moved, revealing a bear watching them, Max felt sure this was the same bear who had saved them a year earlier, he pointed the bear out, but shortly after, it retreated back into the forest, never to be seen by Max again, the bear seemed to want assurance the boy was safe, the bear had risked everything to save the child, forever securing its status as a hero in their hearts. Would you trust a wild animal with your child? Let us know in the comments. Then there's an another story. Let's continue. Diesel, the dog, endured harsh sub-zero conditions for four years, chained outside and left to suffer. His life was about to change with the help of some rescuers. Diesel observed the snow-covered landscape, his daily view. He was chained in the Yukon wilderness, facing bitter cold and isolation. 
Though there was a doghouse nearby, Diesel's world remained bleak and cold, his owner had constructed a doghouse for his protection, but it remained unused, Diesel could only look at it longingly every day, yearning for the warmth and security it promised, but it remained beyond his reach, the doghouse was perhaps too small for Diesel, and his owner couldn't afford a larger one, neglect extended beyond the doghouse, his owner often ignored him and failed to clean up after him, Diesel was left to endure the smell of his own waste, unable to move away due to his short chain, his living area doubled as his bathroom, filling the air with foul odors, Diesel's longing for freedom only intensified, life hadn't always been hard for Diesel, when his owner first brought him home, he was a happy puppy looking forward to. A life filled with love, Diesel was a striking dog, his black fur easily visible against the Yukon landscape, he once roamed freely, his spirit as vast as the wilderness, with his owner laughing as they explored together, Diesel could not have imagined the harsh fate that awaited him, as time went on, his owner's situation changed, he neither had the time nor the resources to care for Diesel, instead of finding the dog a new home or surrendering him to a shelter, the owner chose to forget him, one. Night, the owner locked Diesel outside, hoping the dog would either run away or perish, Diesel, loyal to the end, waited on the porch the next morning to be let back in, the owner refused and left him outside, assuming starvation and exposure would solve the problem, Diesel was chained outside the house, facing the coldest time of the year, temperatures dropped to minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 40 degrees Celsius, but the owner did not care, wrapped in warm blankets inside his home, occasionally, the owner would throw scraps of food at Diesel while taking out the trash, Diesel could quench his thirst with snow, and so began his harsh existence, enduring bitter conditions, Diesel wondered what he had done to deserve such treatment, his only crime was growing up, he endured four years in the icy Yukon wilderness, confined to the length of his chains, each morning, Diesel raised his head to the sky, calling upon his remaining strength, yearning for freedom, despite being of a vocal breed, he could barely muster the energy to bark or howl, yet, a glimmer of hope burned within his soul, a silent plea for rescue before Diesel could find deliverance, he faced various forms of abuse and neglect from his owner and other animals, on one tragic day, a horse struck him in the face, breaking his jaw and causing him to lose some teeth, on another occasion, a pack of stray dogs attacked him, despite his large size. Diesel was too weak to defend himself or flee due to his chain, his owner, upon seeing Diesel's injuries after the attacks, neglected his wounds, showing no care for the dog's suffering, these deep injuries bled and became infected from exposure to harsh elements, leaving Diesel vulnerable, Diesel's owner effectively sentenced him to death, with no hope of reversing the harsh treatment, despite the adversity, Diesel's spirit remained strong, a testament to his resilience, yet, as time went on, his spirit began to wane, the isolation took its toll on him, and his once bright eyes grew dim. As he faced the prospect of dying a cold, painful death, Diesel yearned for the touch of a caring hand or a warm embrace, even from his owner, unknown to him, help was on the way, one day, a good neighbor noticed Diesel's dire situation and decided to intervene, the neighbor initially approached the house to complain about the foul odor from the backyard, but when he saw Diesel's condition, he was stunned, Diesel did not react, seemingly having lost the will to be a dog, saddened, the neighbor pleaded with Diesel's owner to allow the dog inside due to the low temperatures and suggested a warm bath, the owner's indifferent response left the neighbor shocked, the neighbor then asked if he knew anyone who would take Diesel for free, as if the dog's dire state made him a bargain, the neighbor shook his head, and the owner closed the door without promising any changes, realizing Diesel needed urgent help, the neighbor called the animal rescue organization, rescuers quickly arrived and were heartbroken at the sight of the suffering dog, they could not understand how the owner could be so cruel, especially given the dog was often left outside alone, seeing Diesel covered in snow and not even acknowledging their presence showed his mental state, determined to save him, the rescuers resolved to free Diesel from his chains, without a key and with the iron chain frozen from the cold, they needed powerful tools to break it quickly and rescue Diesel, Diesel's eyes shone with hope as he realized the rescuers were working to release him from the chains that had confined him in the frigid cold for four years, once the chain was finally cut, Diesel let out a small, triumphant whimper, despite the ordeal he had endured, there was a new light in his eyes as he realized his nightmare was coming to an end, his legs trembled with each step, 
but he didn't hesitate as the rescuer guided him to their vehicle. Though he smelled terrible, the rescuer showed him love and care before letting him onto the truck, they gave him beef jerky and clean water to drink, then wrapped him in blankets and stroked his fur to warm him, it was the first time Diesel felt loved and cared for in a long time, the sensation of freedom and the warmth of love and companionship that these kind humans provided rekindled his heart, when Diesel was rushed to the vet hospital for a thorough examination and treatment, the doctor discovered he had suffered multiple injuries, including a broken jaw, missing teeth, and infections, he also had a small tumor, in his eyes, ears, and mouth were filled with mucus due to another infection, the vet's team worked diligently to treat his injuries, providing antibiotics, removing the tumor, replacing broken teeth, cleaning his eyes, and setting his jaw, the rescuers were praised for their prompt intervention, as everyone knew they had saved Diesel's life, however, more was needed, Diesel needed warmth, care, and stability, in short, he needed a family. Once deemed healthy enough, Diesel was taken to a foster home, but he initially struggled to adapt, he was aware of the improved conditions, but his self-esteem had suffered, making him timid around other dogs, his past experiences with stray dogs in his backyard made him cautious, but the presence of gentle humans helped build his confidence, Diesel surprised everyone when he began to come out of his shell, making new friends and embracing his playful side once again, he was affectionately nicknamed, Teddy Bear, a testament to his lovable personality, however, the foster. Home was a temporary step towards a new beginning, Diesel needed a permanent family to call his own, the volunteers of the Animal Advocate Society used their platform to share Diesel's story and his current health struggles, ensuring his next owner would be aware of the challenges in caring for him, they wanted Diesel to go to someone who would never neglect him again, their efforts paid off, and soon Diesel found himself in the arms of a new owner who showered him with love, this was a stark contrast to the neglect he had experienced before, Diesel transformed into a joyful dog, unafraid to express himself around his new owner and other dogs, surrounded by kind-hearted people, he learned to trust again and embraced a new, happy future, Diesel was forever grateful to the neighbor who alerted the rescue team, had the neighbor ignored Diesel's plight, his fate might have been far worse, we can't say whether Diesel ever thought about his previous owner again, but it seems he found no need to, he was now happy, and that was all that mattered, in the Yukon wilderness, an impoverished dog once fought through four cold winters and barely survived the harsh conditions his previous owner subjected him to, but hope eventually arrived for Diesel, and he now stands as a testament to the enduring bond between man and his loyal companion. What a touching story, have you ever encountered someone mistreating their pets? What would you have done if you noticed Diesel alone in the backyard? Day after day, share your thoughts in the comments below, that's all for our today's video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.